variation of parameters to solve the given system. So here's the step you need to use, you need to do when use variation of parameters. First, find the homogeneous solution, then find non-homogeneous solution, and for the final answer, you add them together. With okay, so I'm sure you know how you already learned this, so I'm not going to spend time going over it but I will walk you through the problem step by step okay let's put this aside for this problem first as always phi a minus lambda i okay so let's call this matrix i this matrix a subtracted with lambda i it gives you this matrix and then phi is determinant okay set it equal to zero solve for lambda you will get repeated value repeated eigenvalue for lambda which is negative two for lambda equals negative 2, plug it into a minus lambda i, it gives you this matrix, augmented with 0, okay? Now, from the first equation, I know that 4k1 equals 2k1, 4k1 minus 2k2 equals 0, then solve for k2, I got 2k1. If I choose k11, then k2 is 2, and vector k is 1, 2, okay? So... Uh, let me do it here. So my vector x1 is equal to 1, 2, e to the negative 2, t. Now, since you have one lambda, how do you get the other eigenvector? Well, here's the thing. So once you block it into this one, you get a matrix. First, you augment it with 0. You will get vector k. After that, you will the same matrix, but you augment with the matrix you just found, which is k, vector k, this k, to get your second vector. Okay, so if I do if I do that, I got I will get this matrix again from the first equation. I know that for p one minus two p two equals one. So for p two, I got two p one minus one half. If I choose p one zero, then p two is negative one half. Then my vector p is zero negative one half. Okay, so because because these two matrices are different so for this one I use k1 k2 for this one I use different variables which is p1 p2 okay now it's time to write our our non our homogeneous solution so each vector h sub h equals c1 times vector x1 which is this one plus c2 times vector k times t e to the negative 2 t plus vector p times e to the negative 2 t okay that, that is your homogeneous part. Now for non-homogeneous part, similarly like a minus lambda i, you, you need to have, you need to get a matrix phi of t from your homogeneous part. So exclude c1, c2, put the rest into this matrix. Okay, then you find the determinant of phi, which is the same as you find the determinant of a minus lambda i it gives you one half e to the negative 40 okay then you are going to find its inverse which is equal to 1 over the determinant times this matrix but you need to make some changes so for the upward diagonal line you multiply by negative 1 okay for the downward diagonal line you are going to switch their positions bring this up bring this down after doing this calculation I get this matrix now uh, I need to find u prime of t which is equal to inverse phi of t times f of t what is f of t f of t is this thing the whole thing okay what left over when you what comes after x vector x all right so for this back to this one this okay here is the thing you multiply matrices together, right? So I cost you that do not swap the order because multiply matrices is not like when you multiply variables or numbers. Switching the order will affect the final answer, okay? Keep in mind that. Multiply these together, it gives me this one. Simplify it, I get this. Now, for u of t, it is equal to the integral of u prime of t. So take the integral of this one, it gives me this one. So this is basic integral, so I'm not going to spend time over it. 
like an integral of negative 1 over t is negative natural log of t minus 2t, okay? Same thing here, natural log, uh, integral of 2 over t is 2 times natural log of t. Okay, so now write your homogeneous, non homogeneous part. It is equal to phi of t times u of t. So multiply these matrix C together. It gives you this matrix. Simplify it. You will get this matrix. Okay. So for this one, again, do not swap the order because you multiply matrices together and this is the correct order. You cannot just pull this in front and then you say that oh, u vector u times vector phi is the same as vector phi times vector u. No, 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 no. For matrices, it's not the same. All right. And your final answer is equal to homogeneous part plus non-homogeneous part. Okay, that's it. If you find the video is helpful, feel free to give it a like, share, and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything. I'll see you next time.